Hello YouTube and fellow Terminator fans, welcome back to my channel Guello John, I'm your host John. Um, today we're going to be doing the, uh, some, some, the finger modifications on this, uh, make it look more movie accurate and of course uh, fix the, the floppy finger things. Um, this is probably mainly for, for people who are uh, jumping onto this from, from Agora. If you've just started the build, welcome to the build. It is a nice kit, it's a very nice kit, but it does have its, its faults. It does need some modifications. Um, fair few people have done uh, movie modifications on this. I've done some myself, uh, Steve Williams has done some, and, and various others. Feel free to jump around YouTube and, and find as many of those as you can and see what you can do. There's also uh, model mods do do various bits. Uh, the finger fix for them is it's it's more expensive than this one and it's not as good to be fair. But they're teeth. If you can't if you go and look at my video about um, doing the teeth, uh, you can see that it's it's a lot of hard work to do the teeth from the original kit, which is what I've done. Um, but you can buy now the teeth directly from them, and they do look they look pretty good. So if you want to just skip all that cutting up. And filing, just go and buy a, a set of the teeth for this from them. Uh, but with this one, you require a fair amount of bits. You, you're going to need um, the little 3M button um, screws, hexagon screws. There are Allen key screws, uh, the button ones there. So you got that, and they are three millimeters. I will leave a list of, of what's what and where's where. And I've done it here in an exploded view. I will move the camera in a minute and just hold it above it so you can see that where every component goes. You're also going to need um, the 3M flat top hex screws. Now these are wafer thin ones, but they are four millimeters long. And they need to be four millimeters long for this one. And I don't even I couldn't find them in three millimeter anyway. So that's those ones. You're going to need those. I will let you know how much of, of each you need. You will need the little brass inserts. And the ones you need are five mil long, five mil deep, and four mil across the top. That way you don't have to drill these out. You can just squeeze them in with pliers into these, into these joints. You can squeeze them into all the joints with pliers. So you don't need to cut them out. You will need to wiggle the fingers a fair bit to get them to, to loosen up a tad inside there. But you don't need to drill. If you drill, what happens if you put these in once you've drilled is it all goes loose when you when you bend the fingers you have to then every time retighten the fingers so do not drill these out this this is a, a fix for not drilling if you want to drill it get the five mil ones drill it and squeeze them in there that's that's um that's up to you entirely up to you but i'm doing it this way this is uh these are four mil across five mil deep you will also need some 3m washers so little tiny 3m washers you also need some 4M washers. The 4M washers are the ones that go in between the finger. So I've got a finger set up here. This is the um, the test run finger. So this was already chromed. I, I don't like the look of the chromed fingers, to be fair. Um, I like the fingers, you know, dirtier. That They were dirtier in the film. They weren't chromed in the film. The rest of the body would have been nice chromed, though. But we're not getting it that way. So um, as you can see there, you've got the, the flat ones here and the, the button one there. You've got the washers in between. Now the two washers in between not only give it a more movie style look, but they keep the finger dead straight. So the finger is straight. And with these, what I've, what I've chosen to do, and what is more movie accurate is, is you know, no washers either side of there, two washers across the, the middle knuckle, because the middle knuckle is always bigger. And then one washer at the bottom with the two in between on all of them. So they're the parts you need, and that's what it looks like. And it does, it, look, it actually looks really good. I did do another one here, where I've I've gone completely um, movie accurate, but this is a test one. So what I've done is I've filed all these down, because this is more rounded on the edges. It wasn't so square as it is on that one. So I've filed all those down, but I have taken off, I've taken it down to the base metal on the, on the insides of there. And I've put, you know, drilled two mil hole and put barbarians in. Also, I've drilled some holes on the side, but these are too big. The, if you're going to drill the holes on the side, they have to be half a mil. This is um, one and a half mil, way too big. But it's the smallest drill bit I had at the time, and I was just testing. So, I, you know, with mine, I may do this. I may have the. Um, I probably won't file it down again because it's. It's you'd, you'd have to. I don't. I don't want to recoat all of these. I don't want to repaint them or recoat them. So I'll probably just leave them square, 
it's a it's a minor detail it niggles me because i want it movie accurate but it's it's an awful lot of work and it means repainting but with these i'll major all the holes in and just put the little beads in the little beads are the same little beads i used in my first video for, for around the actual eyeball itself so the, the four little silver um, balls around the eyeballs were, were these ones so if you go back and have a look at that video you'll see where i got these from okay i'm going to pause it now move the camera up above this so you can see it in an exploded view as to as to where everything goes so it will just be pushed left to right clink and that's that's the more to put together okay this is what it looks like as an exploded view you can see all, all the all the um, components that you're going to require it seems like a lot but it does give you a much more movie accurate finger a stronger finger and a, and a straighter finger um, and it's a model guys we're building a model it's a kit it's just adds to the fun so that's that's exactly what it looks like in an exploded view okay putting it together we'll start with the top so you've got the uh, the fingertip here I'm sure that uh, most people who have viewed my channel will already have done this a long time ago that's just a bit of glue around the top and you can use a toothpick for that if you wish and just plonks on there so there's your fingertip on and this is for this finger here this is from um, part three okay now what we're going to do is we're going to get the uh, little brass insert push that into here now it's it's hard to do that with your fingers just pushing it in so you've got to kind of level it up get it sort of level and then you're going to need a pair of pliers i find my pliers so i'm going to use these what appears to be overkill yeah try and get it straight when you knock it in there it sits on there like that and then you're just gonna with your pliers clamp down the end there slowly push that in now we'll go crooked and you do the other side straighten it up a bit don't push it in crooked keep it straight might take a little bit of working to get it in there straight once it's in it's in and again that you don't require drilling because drilling these out it's a lot of work hell of a lot of work when you drill these out Okay, that's squished in there. It does just pop in. It took me a little time to, to balance it, so I cut there. Um, but it does just pop straight in there. As you can see, once you've pushed it in, it just pops straight in. And then you require the um, little button screw. You use your Allen key, pop it on the end there. You just tighten that up on the end there. This is the top one, remember, so there's no um, actual washers going to the sides of it. There you go. Just do it up slightly. And then what you do is you add the two 4M washers over the top of that. So you've got two 4M washers. I'll just twist that to the right. Bosh. Oh, I'm that way. Bosh. And Bosh. So you've got two 4M washers in the middle of that. Then you get the next part, clip those together, and then all you do again is click that through. So you just with your pliers there, just push those together so that clips into the next one as well. And then you get the uh, the other button, Allen key. Tighten that up. Go from both sides when you're tightening it up. So you get an equal amount of thread in there. There you go. That's the top part of the finger done. And then we're going to move down to the second part, which is the same again. You're popping this in here. So you're just repeating that, you pop that, the two um, 4M ones on the inside, and then you're using the flat wafer thin 
hexagon one on the side, but you're gonna, before you put that on, I'm ahead of myself here, before you put that on, you're using two of the three M washers on top of that for the middle finger, the top part here. So you now have two washers on there. And then you tighten that up slightly, just enough, get a bite. There you go. And then you'd add the two central ones. The two 4M washers in there. You're clicking the next part on. You try and line it up. You've got to line it up so it doesn't go going crooked. You don't want it going in crooked. And then again, just squeezing that on there. Remember to line it up, keep it straight. So that you squeeze that so it goes straight there through the middle. Squeeze it straight so you can see it straight there. And then you get the other 3M screw, flat head, washers. These are also the 3M washers. Connect that into there. Tighten up both sides so you're getting an equal bite. And the middle knuckle is the bigger knuckle. So when you're doing the last knuckle, which I'll do off camera, uh, when you're doing the last knuckle together, it's just one washer on the side of that. So no washer at the top on the outside, two washers in the middle. Two washers on the outside of the middle, each side, and two washers in the middle. And with the bottom one, two washers in the middle and one washer on the outside. Okay, when you're connecting these to the actual um, palm, you would connect a, a you use a 3M um, button for the knuckle and a flat for the palm. So you're connecting these that way around, that'd be that way around. So you'd have a 3M here, the, the uh, sorry, the 3M button one for the knuckle. And underneath in the palm itself you're using one of these flat ones so it's a 3m for the knuckle and a flat inside the palm okay with that being done i hope you will agree with me that that looks so much better so that looks so much better than than how it originally comes it looks looks more movie accurate a lot more movie accurate in my opinion you may you may disagree and want to just go with the, with the clips that are provided that's absolutely fine but I, I really like the way that looks. You can see all the, the, the larger joints and the, the smaller ones and the bits in the middle. Just make, it makes it look like it actually does something. It makes it look like it's more animated instead of just like, you know, th four blocks of, of metal stuck together. It actually makes it look like it, it works a little bit better. And with the thumb, I was gonna move the thumb but the, the thumb is, is I think, the position to that way for holding the gun. I'll put some pictures of it holding the gun on the end. Um, it's it's okay. It, it, is, it does do okay. I don't want to loosen it because I know that if posing it over time, this little screw underneath is going to come undone. And with the rest of the palm and everything on there, it's going to be very hard to get to that to actually tighten it up. So I'm, I'm still toying whether, whether to do that or not, whether to loosen that off or not. But if you do loosen it off, you'd obviously get the thumb to move to the side and you can pose it a lot better with the thumb being an opposable digit. Um, I was talking to Chef Hawk about the, uh, these, because um, he's bought the same brass inserts as I've bought, which are the five millimeter long, four millimeter across the top. And he was saying that once he pushed his in there, it was nigh impossible to move the joints. And I have to agree with you, brother. It's it, it is very very hard to to move some of the joints. So then what you do is once you've got it in there, you put your brass in there, you push them together, you use these. So you clamp that on the end and you just force it to move backwards and forwards. You're not going to break it. You force it to move backwards and forwards. Do it five or six times. That will then loosen off. And then it's just these because all you're doing is, is loosening off you're wearing down slight amounts on the brass um, ratchet parts around the side and once that's done every every finger is, is then going to be posable relatively simply I'd recommend that when you when you're posing um, the fingers just hold it there because this is plastic 
and you've connected it to plastic. So always hold it here if you're going to be bending the, the full finger, you know, and each joint hold the, the underneath it and bend it that way. Also, mate, um, did you, I'm wondering, did you use the, um, the um, washers in between the fingers? Because that also helps with the movement. Um, and with the washers on the outside, it does help to, to keep it locked in. So you're not, you don't have to tighten these every single time you've done a pose. I find with the ends of the fingers, because there's no uh, washers on the outside, that you do have to tighten these every time you, every time you move them, you have to tighten the, the tips of the fingers up. But the rest of it, I find, you know, you, you pose it probably five or six times and then you have to tighten them up. But like I said, I would, I would recommend that you, uh, you undo them and pick the pose that you want and then tighten it up when it's in that pose, then it's locked into that pose. So you're not gonna be mucking about with it too much. The thumb is, like I said, is for holding the gun. I think they've done it that way. Um, and Agora models are releasing the gun. So you can buy the gun separately from Agora models, which is great. Mine will definitely have two guns. So um, I, I, I may just leave the thumb as it is. I'm not sure I want to risk that, that moving up and down a bit. Um, with this one, I mean, I did, I did want to, I did a, a test finger and I did want to add more detail in there because I know the devil's in the detail. I know this looks kind of cool as it is. And when it's holding the gun, whether you'll notice that the extra bits of detail or not, I don't know, but it's me. I like it to be as movie accurate as I can. So when I did this finger here, which is the, the drilling out and putting in the little ball bearings. If you go back to my first video, um, you'll find out where I've got the little ball bearings because they're the ones for around the eyes. So it's the same ball bearings as those that I'm knocking in there, two mil holes um, into those, pop the ball bearings in, it looks great. I drilled these fingers right the way through. You don't need to do that. I shouldn't have done that. Um, I think it probably weakens it a bit, don't know. But you only have to go down far enough to drop the ball bearings in there. And that would be fine if you wanted to do it that way. And holes on the sides, I've done these as, as uh, one and a half mil because it was the smallest drill bit I had in the house at the time. And we are in lockdown. Uh, it's, these are going to be half a mil. So half a mil if you're going to drill the ones at the side. And the filing it around. So filing the finger less, less square and more sort of rounded at the edges makes it look more movie accurate. But it does take it down to the, the um, base metal. So it will have to be um, re-electroplated or painted. I know that um, some some other YouTubers are doing some really good stuff with this kit. You've got uh, Steve Williams who'll probably hopefully see this and um, just improve it. Just wipe the floor with what I've done and come back with something that's completely movie accurate that makes me take mine apart again and and redo it. Because he is the mod father, he's doing brilliantly with that. Also, you've got Adam Dean who is doing the electroplating. He's he's uh, re-electroplating these, so um, I think he may may be able to do something with this and um, and actually electroplate it and make it look really, really, really good. I'm wondering, you know, each joint take them apart, obviously, and electroplate them once you've got the ball bearings in there. Electroplate it and see how that looks. I'd like to see that. So um, have a look at his videos if you want to know about electroplating. He's, a lot of his stuff is macabre. He's doing some great stuff with this. Just a heads up there. Um, but you're doing great stuff, bro. Really do appreciate what you're doing. I, I like watching your videos. Same with Steve. And loads of others out there. Loads of you are, are actually doing these videos. I really do enjoy them. So that about wraps it up for this. Um, I'll leave a list of, of what you need. I'll do some, some photographs. I'll get Ryan to do some photographs because he does all the editing on these. And... Um, that about wraps it up for this video. I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and have fun, you crazy kids. Bye for now.